الفائز بجائزة الموارد المائية البديلة الدكتور بوليكاربوس فلاروس من المركز الوطني للبحوث العلمية أثينا اليونان ومنسق مشروع كلير ووتر التابع للاتحاد الأوروبي لتطويره أغشية مركبة مصنوعة من السيراميك ذات خصائص تحفيزية ضوئية لإزالة السموم من المياه بفعالية وكفاءة عالية من خلال الاستفادة من ضوء الشمس أدعو الدكتور بوليكاربوس فلارس لاستلام جائزته Sorry. Your Royal Highness, Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Your Royal Highness, Prince Khalid bin Sultan bin Abdulaziz, esteemed members of the Saudi Arabia government, respecting members of the Prize Council, dear audience, dear colleagues, let me first express my deep respect and high esteem to the authorities and the nation of Saudi Arabia. I accept the current award with great honor, and I'm very grateful to the Prize Council for this exceptional distinction recognizing years of hard scientific work, sometimes performed under very difficult conditions. Behind such a prestigious prize, there is a big idea. And behind a big idea is always a great personality. This is the case of the founder of the prize, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz a real environmental activist. In fact, the aim of the prize is a big one. The prize, recognizing scientific efforts and awarding research innovation in the field of water, inspires scientists for further developments and sensitizes people to water-related issues. In addition, the Council's recent decision to encourage innovative water research and apply applied science through a program of generous grants will further contribute to solving global water problems and protecting the environment. Thus, the real added value of this prize is that it recognizes excellence on behalf of our society and promote this innovation for our society. Water is life. Over half of the world population lives in regions where access to water will become a challenge to existence. In fact, besides human beings, animals, vegetation, and the environment are affected by hazardous pollutants of emerging concern that appear in water. These pollutants include industrial and pharmaceutical compounds, toxins, hormones, endocrine disruptors, and pathogenic microorganisms. There is a need for worldwide coordinated water research aiming at pollutants detection, assessment, and abatement. In this direction, the development of novel analytical techniques to identify, determine traces of new extremely harmful emerging contaminants in water and the implementation of innovative technologies for their elimination 
are of the highest priorities for the protection of the environment and the world's survival. In our methodology, in the frame of the European Union Clean Water Project implementation, we followed a holistic approach going from the level of the nanomaterial synthesis to device design and manufacture, passing through process engineering and optimization. We thus develop an innovative and efficient water detoxification nanotechnology for the destruction of extremely hazardous toxins and emerging pollutants in natural waters, waters and water supplies by taking advantage of solar light and environmental friendly innovative titanium photocatalysts combined with ceramic and composite membranes. The new technology, in contrast to conventional separation methods, focuses on advanced oxidation processes with global environmental applications and brings about the photocatalytic degradation, destruction of contaminants during the filtration process. It thus permits water purification and water quality enhancement under normal, normal solar light conditions with high efficiency and low cost. In the case of water resources, the obtained results are of high quality and demonstrated research excellence, confirmed by numerous papers published in pertinent journals, many PhDs successfully completed, a plethora of educational activities done, and many patents acquired. These very promising research results can be used creatively and innovatively to optimize processes and develop products with relevance for our society. I invite people fully committed to protect the environment and water resources from Saudi Arabia and other countries to join us in a collaborative international endeavor to practically implement the newly developed technology for the improvement of the citizens' life and the economic development. Thank you very much.